doing what you want to do. And because it tells you that, it helps you improve your effectiveness and efficiency of your process to do better, make parts more intolerant, which helps increase your productivity because you're not throwing things out all the time because it doesn't meet requirements. And all that leads to increased customer satisfaction because you're giving them what they want and what you agreed to and not a lot of defects in it to cause them troubles. And all those things really help reduce costs, which is a big plus for SPC when you're trying to decide to do it or not. Okay, a uh, brief history of how it came about. Probably the person that has had the most influence in this was a Dr. Walter Schuett. He worked for Bell, where a lot of great things came out of Bell. He was with the Western Electric Company, and he really pioneered the use of good, solid quality and control using statistics. That was in the 20s, a long time ago, and um, and he was really a pioneer in this in this whole science that exists now. And some of his uh, uh, descendants or uh, uh, accolades were some famous people that I'm sure you heard of, Edward Deming, Joseph Duran, and several others. And where they made their big play into statistics was uh, being hired as consultants to go to post-World War II Japan to help them get their manufacturing up and running because they had terrible quality, terrible manufacturing processes. And uh, the U.S. Army somehow or other knew about these guys, even though they weren't accepted very much in the U.S., but they were writing treatises and theories about how to improve quality in manufacturing. So they hired them. They said, what, what can we lose? Let's, let's send them over to Japan and help them out. 